G'day fellas and welcome to a casted game. Spawning in on the north side of the map, playing in the color yellow as the Marlians. It's Faye Chan. And on the south side of the map, playing in the purple as the English. You can you better believe I'm not saying this name. Uh, we've got Don Hardy once again, he's back. We've been featuring him plenty on the channel. And today he's playing English. Good old faithful English. I'm looking forward to seeing what we've got for Don today because as you guys know, Don is a guy who likes to take the meta and he likes to, well, flush it down the toilet and uh, and he, 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 he builds his own bridges. Let's just say that that much. He doesn't use the bridges of those who've come past him. But uh, <laughs> no pun intended. Anyway, we move forward. We move on. It's an interesting matchup, this one. It's a bit of a late game matchup, if anything, or at least these two sieves stack up in the late game against each other. And we, and we do have great trading posts uh, on this map, or trade posts, rather. Really good one for Faye. So not sure if, uh, if that's what she's going to be looking to go for. Uh, but before we move any further on in this game, let me tell you a little bit about Patreon. Are you keen to get better at Age of Empires 4? Are you interested in watching someone else get coached or getting some one-on-one -on -one coaching for yourself? If so, check out the Patreon, where you can find dozens of coaching videos where I personally guide players through the process of improvement with new videos being added every single week. With coaching for all skill levels and for all civilizations, there's something for everyone. Now, when it comes to my credentials, while I might not be the Red Bull Wallalol champion, I'm still a pretty decent skill level, sitting at the Conqueror 3 ranking for 1v1. So if you are interested in some coaching, make sure you check out the Patreon. I'll leave a link in the description. Now let's get back to the action. So typically in this matchup, what you're going to be seeing is, is a very common strategy coming out from the Marlians, which is going to be around that fast castle. It seems to be the most common strategy that we do see coming out of the Marlians, and it seems to be by far their best uh, so expect to see, you know, the, the the most likely thing that we're going to see is a Saharan trade network out here over on the pit mine. When it comes to the English, there's a number of different openings that we've been seeing out of them. Uh, so obviously it's going to be a council hall opening uh, and then typically a follow-up. Normally we've been seeing like four or five longbows into a second town center, into a heavier feudal age. Uh, but normally they're looking not necessarily to shut down trade, but just to kind of be annoying uh, and continue building up that village account. But we do see the villagers now moving forward. Uh, for Don. But Don has got other ideas. Do we have... Is he going for a forward Abbey of Kings here? There's something that tells me that he might be going for a forward Abbey of Kings here. So maybe looking to play Men at Arms. Could be playing a little bit of, uh, of Horsemen, something like that. You can see he hasn't actually looked at much of the map. I don't even th think he knows where the yeah. enemy is because he's kind of going off to the side a little bit out here. Where's the scout for Don? Scout for the Don moving up as well. Now, remember, the map here is Lippany, and sometimes it does generate a little bit a little bit ludicrously. Uh, but we'll check in with Faye as Faye... Oh, I thought we had villagers moving up towards the, the northern side there. Uh, Faye is about to click up now. Let's see what landmark it's going to be. And it's going to be... Yeah, no no real surprises here. Do, do we have two players looking to make landmarks next to each other? Is that what is that what is happening right now? Look at Don go. Saharan Trade Network. <laughs> No way. Oh, this is oh, this is actually going to get cancelled. The villagers are going to be able... Oh, that's why he brought five villagers. He's not building the landmark forward. He's just attacking. He, oh my god, this is so smart by Don. And he forces the enemy back. Can't get the Saharan trade network down. Villagers have to go back. And now Don can just chill out, put down an outpost. And, and this pit mine is guaranteed good as gone. And we see the Mansa Quarry going to get thrown down as a result back in the base here for Faye. And Faye definitely at this point in time would have her head in her hands. This is a bit of a, a bit of a smart play by Don. And okay, this is new. Now, how many people came into this game thinking Don Artie is going to go for a forward council hall? Because I guarantee you, none of you were. None of you were. None of you were expecting this. You know what? I don't know what the thumbnail is. <laughs> so probably all of you were expecting it. Actually, you know what? We're going to make the... <laughs> Okay, I take it back. How many of you guys were coming into this game like, we are going to see a forward council hall? Probably all of you, because you would have read the thumbnail. It's the forward council hall. I got no clue where this is going to go, but... I mean, we can see this, and we've seen a lot of forward landmarks, and this is kind of interesting, right? Because Age of Empires 4 doesn't... Oh, no, the boar's getting in on the action. Just as I want to start off on a tangent, little boar gets in on the play. He, he's clueless. Don Artie going to be losing one villager, it looks like. The boar trying its best to take it out, but I think Don actually ran the wrong way. Villager number one is indeed going to be going down. There's so many villagers. So much damage. And look at the boar go. This is just absolute chaos between these two. Interestingly, we didn't see Faye like, pull any vills to drop an outpost or something. Now the boar comes around for round number two. And Don Artie... <laughs> 
So, what was I going to say? Well, I was going to say something. I can't even remember what I was going to say. Look at this boar. Now, Don Hardy doing the right thing. He's actually bringing his scout here, and he's going to lure the boar with his... He's not going to kill it. He can't kill it. No, Don, don't... don't. <laughs> oh, my God. These games are the best, dude. Don Hardy games. So, for anybody who's in the comments like, eh, another Don Hardy game. That's 17 in a row, Drongo. It's like, yeah, because look how good the games are. He literally is killing a forward boar. He's lost three <laughs> villages at five minutes into the game with a stupid council hall that he's got 10 villages built. <laughs> yeah. Don Hardy games, dude. They just they just keep you laughing. And oh god, now the, <laughs> there's a sofa coming out against Don. Don gonna be in a little bit of trouble here, I suspect. Uh, he's trying to keep his head above water at this point in time. And well, I'll just I'll I'll say this much: he's fighting against the rip. It's not the best. It's not the best opening for him so far. The council hall probably just not forward enough. You know, had he made it forward like you know two or three tiles more, he would have been okay. But we do see the villagers now moving in, looking to try and force back this position, but we've got a sofa coming in. Now, this sofa, it's got some decent armor, but it's not going to be the, the armor of the knight, but you can see just how little damage is being done here. Do we have a second one? We've got a, we've got warrior scouts coming through with a second sofa. So now we've got double double damage dealers right here. Sofa trying its best. Council Hall is going to get up. He's going to look to try and focus down the sofa. No, he's going to continue falling back. You can see the micro coming out from Don. He's almost non-existent here, Don, with his APM. Infamous for his lack of APM. For anybody wondering go tune into his twitch channel he's probably live right now he's got he's got about 3 a.m the poor guy uh, he does man he does manage to take down the sofa finally but uh barrack's gonna get thrown down immediately don Hardy with off to a bit of a slow start a seven <laughs> seven workers have been killed so far poor don if he manages to pull this one out of the bag i tell you what i'm gonna be a, i'm gonna be a big fan of that don tent but archer numbers starting to build so far gonna be under under attack the scout doing a great job of just tanking most of that damage you can see that the, the scout actually being chased around here at this point and it looks like Faye's gonna be going after the villagers might need to do a bit, little bit of a ring around the road see the palings go down and he tries his best to manages to take out the sofa before it and now he spots the wolf as well you're in for it as well buddy everybody is copping it today the boar's copping it the wolf is copping it. The villagers are definitely copping it. Uh, I think at, at some point I copped a little bit as well. Uh, yeah, when we mentioned the forward, the forward council hall. I mean, look how forward this bad boy is. We're going to get a picture of this a little bit later on. But I tell you what, this is just, this is a sight to behold. And look at the way that the lighting hits the roof. The spearman's out now. So Don should be in a pretty solid position. So if we're going to be heading towards the enemy side of the map, looking to see where it can poke and prod and potentially find some villagers to take out. Going to be a little bit hard though. Don's got 12 villagers. Obviously, 12 times 2. Is it 12 times 2 or 12 times 3? Let's double check the damage. No, it's 12 times 3. So 36 damage a pop. So it'll, they'll 3-shot the sofa. So we can't really deal with that. Outpost now going to be coming up for Don. This is going to serve as, as, as two different purposes. Number one, it's going to be used as a garrison point for any villagers that potentially face a raid. Uh, the second part is that uh, it's it going to serve as a propagator of that network of castles. I think that's the correct term, propagator. But now Don Hardy going to be pushing forward and look at look at the number of sofas beginning to come out here i think this is where we're going to take our we're going to take our photo ladies and gentlemen let me enter into the cinematic mode just so we can get a crystal clear one look at that, that there's your thumbnail right there for anybody wondering that that right there oh isn't she isn't she beautiful but now don might be in a little bit of trouble we're going to stay in the cinematic mode as don arty tries to do a little bit of survival tactics look at this we got one villager five inside he's going for a bit of a loop-de-loop -loop, ring around the rose he's trying his best to keep his villagers alive pops them out five out when oh my god it, oh, don arty puts the one health villager inside the outpost and manages to keep the, the villager alive look at that John Artie, you are just on another level. I can't believe that that villager was destined to die. That villager had a death curse written upon it. How? How did you possibly do that, Don? Oh my lord, Don Artie, he's just on another level. You gotta, you gotta have respect for this guy after that. I tell you what, you might disrespect him for his, uh, his names, but you, you can't disrespect that kind of micro for a guy with three APM. He knows how to, he knows how to put villagers inside and outside of the building. That is for sure. But now we can see that uh, the, the number of longbows beginning to really work their way up here for Don as well, but look at the number of warrior scouts here. I'm curious whether we've seen professional scouts just yet come through, or whether he's just going to be using them for a bit of a front line. At the moment, the spearmen trying their best to dish out the damage, and you can see him focusing down that back line, doing a really decent job, and now got to be falling back towards that outpost once again. That extra damage or that extra attack speed being thrown out here, and Don really doing a decent job of holding on despite not having uh, a, a, a huge amount of spears here does manage to keep it alive and i think largely that re the reason why it looked so formidable in the beginning was because uh, these four cavalry units were actually scouts and a lot of people look at the scouts and they get scared 
but don't be scared. These guys are weaklings. They are very, very weak. Uh, th these guys, yeah, uh, I, I wouldn't be... Let's just put it this way. I would not build them unless it was for utility. If I wanted if I wanted to go professional scouts, then sure, get them early. Uh, that makes sense. But other than that, not really worth it. And you can see the damage that comes out right there. Have we got any upgrades coming out just yet? Doesn't look like it. Longbowmen, no upgrades either. So no upgrades for either of these guys. In fact, you can check there from the UI. Literally no upgrades. These guys are just making, spamming as many units as they can just to get them out on the field. Oh, Don Artie, you are just a wizard. And I don't know how you do it. And somehow you've caught up on the village account. Have you, have you been making traders or something behind this? Nope, it doesn't look like it. I don't know how he's caught up on the village account. Maybe Faye's just been skipping a few villages. You know, sometimes you got to skip Vil Day. It's just, uh, it's just the way that it goes. You know, but they do say that... What, what, what's the quote? I'm trying to think about Leg Day. The, the quote that people often say, like, real, real bodybuilders don't skip Leg Day. Something like that. But, uh... Yeah, I, I think Faye skipped Vill Day today. Yeah, we can see actually Faye skipping Vill Day once again. Uh, unfortunate from Faye. So definitely seems like Faye... Oh, the, the, oh, he snipes out the cattle. You bastard Donati. I can't believe you do it. Do Faye like that. It's a, it's a little bit too far away from the town center as well. You'd like it a bit closer. You can see the walk distance there is actually going to be quite significant. But now Don, with a pretty decent mass here, the main concern that he's going to have a javelin thrower. So and the way that this matchup works is ideally for the Marlians, you just want to be massing javelins. You can mass up javelins here and you're going to be able to take out all the units of Don. Now Don's going to be able to dive you or at least try and dive you. But the idea is that you're just going to kite, 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 kite. That's the way that it works. Um, and Don's basically just going to have a tough time because realistically in Don's position, he kind of needs to go castle age to get knights because you can use horsemen, but horsemen are going to have a tough time against the javelin throwers. So if I'm Don right now, I'm trying to think of a way to get up to castle age but if there's one thing i know about don it is that he doesn't like castle age he likes to stick it out in the feudal age if he can if he can stick it out in the feudal age he can or he he, he will definitely do it but i i would be advocating for the opposite i'd be saying don get yourself up there get yourself some knights out here maybe try and run do a little bit of a run around you bought yourself plenty of time and you got i mean you don't have a villager lead but it's not too bad you're only two 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 vills behind at this point in time Javelin throwers, though. Getting off some decent shots there. Keep in mind, they've got that extra damage against ranged units. So it's going to look a little bit underwhelming against spearmen. But as soon as they start attacking longbow, it's going to look, wow. Those things have got real damage. And they do indeed. But now those numbers continue to build. Faye with the double. The double archery range and the double stable also dropping down the blacksmith here. We do see plus one ranged armor has come through for Faye. So she's going to be taking a lot less damage on those javelin throwers. Don Adi on the other side. Going to be looking for an early steeled arrow here. It's going to be on the defensive. And we can see the spearman immediately turning around. He's trying to best. He's trying his best just to try and keep his head above water on the retreat. And now looking to focus down the back line. And you can see just how little damage these javelins take. And the fact that they're outnumbered, uh, the javelin throwers, it, it means nothing. Because they've just got so much armor. And you can see just how well that they do. Able to one-shot those longbows. And two of them going down at the same time. Beautiful micro from Faye. As Faye just completely obliterates this army of Don. He, he needs to stop. He, he can't be doing this. He, he cannot be looking to trade here. As I said, he, ne he needs to focus on one of two things. Number one is a horseman switch. Number two, it's going to be a castle age into knights. I don't think he's got the time for knights, though. He had the time for knights. He doesn't have the time for knights anymore because now Faye has got the advantage. He managed to take out a fair chunk of change from Don's army. And now his wallet, it's coming up empty. And this is where it gets tough for Don. Farm transition also going to be coming through for Don at the moment. No wheelbarrow, no horticulture, no double broadaxe, no double broadaxe. So Don really, he's he's living life on the edge at the moment. He is... He's really all in. And even if he falls back from here, the reason why I mention that is because if he does fall back, you can see the numbers that, that right now that Faye's got. Now, if I'm in Don's position, I'm just, I'm letting all of this go. You just got to let it go right now. Uh, I'm trying to think, that, oh, is it the Frozen song? No, let it go. Na, na, na. Na, 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 na. I don't want to get DMCA, but you guys know the song I'm thinking. That That's the one. Uh, it, it's got to be Frozen, right? It, it, <laughs> yeah, it's frozen. It's frozen. I, I is it the Don't Want to Build a Snowman song? Maybe that's it. I, I don't know. I'm going to Google it after. I'm going to listen to it on Spotify. So if you check me on Discord and I'm listening to it, don't get mad. I did tell you it was going to happen. But now Don could be switching things up. Do we dare see some Men at Arms come out from Don? Men at Arms could make the difference. The problem with Men at Arms, and this is the reason why I didn't mention them earlier, is they have a very similar movement speed. I, in fact, I think it might actually be the same movement speed as the Javelin Thrower. Uh, they're actually slower than the Javelin Thrower. So they're not going to be able to chase down. They're not going to be able to kill the Javelin Thrower. And the high damage from the Javelin Thrower is going to cut through that armor 
of the men at arms. So it's not going to matter. And so as a result, you can see Faye Chan. Faye actually even thinking about going Castle Age herself. So she's in a great spot here. This means that Don, he's going to be playing from behind. And once Faye gets a veterancy through on these javelins, they don't lose. They do not lose because the veterancy is going to give them extra armor. And then plus two is going to come in. And with plus two, it's going to mean that, that there's next to no damage being taken by these javelins. And Don's military is completely nullified. All right. Well, we'll check back in with Don. We'll see if there's any upgrades coming through. There's still no economic upgrades from Don. And he is very all in at this point. Really trying to fight it out. Really just 16 idols though from Faye at the moment. I guess those are all inside the TC. Interestingly, Faye's got her um, got her cows towards the front. Does Don go for a pick here? I think he's gone for a pick. No, nah, he doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't go for the cattle. Uh, but yeah, the, ideally that's where you want to be taken off. And you, you can see right now the javelin numbers, just they're going to be small. But at the same time, this is enough javelin to hold this off. Mm, maybe not that though. Uh, so once again, under pressure. Towards the, the towards Donardi's base, though. More pressure coming out. Sofa doing some heavy damage back here. We see even more Vils going down. It's going to be three on the wood line there for Don. Back towards Faye's base, though. The age up going to be coming through any second. You can see another mill going to get thrown down. She realizes that this food at the front, not really usable at the moment. That English longbow has just got too much range. And even the javelin thrower can't keep up with it. It's only six tiles of range against the seven tiles of range of Donardi. And Don still ahead by about 100 points. Despite losing 10 villagers, despite being 10 villagers down, he's still keeping his head above water. I think largely it's because of the idle time that's come through from Faye. And we do see idle time once again coming out from Faye. So definitely something that she needs to work on. Maybe get a metronome. You know, when, whenever I'm coaching people on, on Patreon, one of the things I, I, I talk about is, is the idea of a metronome. And look at this, Don Hardy just throwing away villagers. He says, you know what? We're going to take the, take the fight. Not a good idea, Don. He throws away another five villagers here and he falls further behind. Now a 10 villager dif distance between these two. Uh, but yeah, I always tell people, use a metronome. Just set yourself up a 21 second metronome. Go into uh, Audacity and just, just say on your microphone, train a villager, Jonathan. Because that's your name, Jonathan. You're in the YouTube comments. Your name's Jonathan. Jonathan, I'm calling you out, buddy. Say good day. Uh, and you, you basically just so then put in like 20 seconds of blank space, 20 second or t one second of you saying, you know, train a villager. And that's it. Every 21 seconds, you've got a little message in your ear saying, train a villager, train a villager. And, and that's a nice way. That's a nice thing to do. Frimber Garrison going down with a few villagers here uh, for Faye. She's got 1,800 gold in the bank. So you can understand why she's she's extra keen to get this Frimber Garrison up. Now, for me, the most important thing here is going to be veterancy. I need to see veterancy coming through on these javelin throwers. So ideally for Faye, what she's going to do is not let any units die here. You don't want to defend this. Just do not fight. Sit back. Do not take any fights, Faye, because you don't want to lose units that are yet to be veterans. Because once they get that veterancy upgrade, it's going to be about 30 seconds, I think. Yeah, 30 seconds for veterancy. Let's see it. This is one of the instances where you probably don't want to actually train Vils. We see straight away it's going to be javelin throwers. As I mentioned before, she can play full javelin throwers right now. Even, even if Don was to mix in um, horsemen at this point, it wouldn't matter. Just simply because the javelin throwers, even with their veterancy, are just, they're, they're, they're way too good. They've got way too much health. And a little bit of a raid, counter raid coming through on the other side. Don down 17 villagers in this matchup. Compared to Faye, who hasn't lost anything. Now the hold comes through. We can see, where's that veterancy? Where's that veterancy? Has the veterancy already popped? The, oh, she's... No, Faye, don't get it in the Farimba garrison. You get it in your other... You get it in one of your one of your other buildings. No, Faye, don't do that. Oh, my God, she's taking another fight. No, Faye, okay. Faye can hold this. She can hold... There's a lot of spears here. 16 spears for Don Arty. These are useless spears. I mean, obviously, they've got some use, right? In that they can go in and they can chase the javelin throwers. But they can just be kited for days. And now, once again, the javelin throwers are going to be looking to take a fight here. We're going to enter into the cinematic mode because I, I feel it coming right now. Just like the song. And no, no pun intended, once again... God, this is, this, is a, this is not a good name, is it? Uh, but I... Ja there we go. Veterancy coming through. So for anyone playing along at home, you want to get your upgrades through your archery range. You want to get your units coming out of the Farimba. And now the Veterancy going with the Javelins. This is not going to even be close. It's going to be an absolute butt whooping right here. Don Arty's going to be in trouble. He's trying to dive the town center. There's no hope that this is going to work at all. He's going through. The Spearmen make it in. The front line's gone down. And Don Arty just taps out. He says, you've taken out too many Vils. You've taken out too much of my hope, and I've got to close it out. Fellas, if you've enjoyed this casted game, make sure you go check out Don Artie. I'll leave a link in the description. Make sure you go check out Faye. I'll leave a link in the description for her as well, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.